Hey there, this is a very quick demonstration of the Nebula node group I've written and put on Blender Market. Uh, if you open the default file, um, it should go to the compositing view. Um, so the viewport uh, won't be showing much at the moment, um, just uh, in the other viewports there will be some instructions in the actual node group. If you change the viewport to rendered, however, uh, you'll see um, the effect displayed on the background. If you hit shift F on the camera you can actually pan around the scene so you get sort of a panic panoramic panoramic nebula out of the box so uh, the main part of the effect is the node group um, in the middle of the compositing view here uh, so I'll just very quickly go through some of the sections this is all documented on the website of Blender Market um, but um, it's basically um, controlled by overlaying uh, three cloud effects and uh, I'm feeding them into the node group and you can change the position of the clouds that overlay and the vectors as you can see here you can change the colors of the nebula as well to get uh, quite different effects very quickly um, uh, each of the parameters are split between clouds 1, 2 and 3. Um, here I'm changing the colour of the clouds as well and the way it's overlaid will uh, give you pretty quickly uh, different effects. Uh, here, here are the settings for each of the clouds. This is also documented but you can change the distortion effect on the clouds and uh, how big they are, how small they are. There's also other parameters like um, the amplification of uh, the cloud effects as well using various trickeries in the node groups uh, to create uh, subtly different effects. Uh, uh, the refinement parameters are actually um, overlaying additional cloud effects onto the node group as well to give you a bit more detail in the nebula as well if you wish. You can see that it work there. Um, the rest of, rest of the effects is sort of positioning where in the colour ramp of the cloud, of the standard cloud node, um, the, 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 the um, effects of the cloud start. And so I've got a light and a dark stage for the clouds and you can start um, playing around with. Um, and I'd basically suggest um, uh, that you play around to see if you can get different effects. I'd also strongly suggest you um, keep pressing the shift key while you're moving the parameters because that gives you a lot more finer grain control over the different uh, different parameters in the box when you move the mouse up and down and that's pretty key really otherwise you won't be able to control it very well. Uh, here as well you can see one of the key effects of the nebula is the sort of ambient lights that you can overlay around the edges of the clouds and uh, that's done behind the scenes by a color ramp uh, that's um, that's been affected and you can see in one of my other videos actually how I've manually created this effect so this node group is meant to speed up your workflow basically as you can see here you can get lots and lots of different effects some better than others admittedly um, uh, and uh, it, with the little playing around of the light effects you'll, you can move them around you'll get much subtle effects usually I find putting the, the, putting the highlights behind the clouds uh, makes it look a lot better uh, but all these parameters as I say are uh, documented and if you do have any questions uh, do get in touch and I'll do my best to answer them uh, so future plans for this effect, um, I'd like to see if I can put it into code a lot more, not just in no groups, I think that will give me a lot more power over the effects I can have. And at the moment this is a 2D effect onto um, a surface. Uh, I've, I've, had some, I've had some experimentation with putting this into a 3D type effect, but it's quite processor intensive right now and I'd, I'd like to experiment with that a little bit more. Anyway, I do hope you find this node group useful um, and any questions do get in touch. Thank you.